Hello viewers. Welcome to another episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. With me Adam Mani Angora your host. In this program that I always say we learn together to prepare some dishes that are uniquely created in this kitchen or something that we learn from somewhere else. In today's episode, I am going to experiment with an oatmeal and therefore we are making an oatmeal masa which is to be served with a braised fish. Until then, let us go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. So before we proceed into the processes, let us have a look at those ingredients needed for this dish. We are going to use oatmeal, cornstarch, soy sauce, yeast, powdered garlic, and also ginger powder. I am also going to make use of salt seasoning, fresh ginger, of course, some eggs, green bell pepper, green chili peppers and also red chili peppers and I'm also going to make use of yellow pepper. Spring onions are going to be used and also celery and some mint. I'm also going to make use of vegetable oil, some fresh turmeric as well as fresh garlic. Some amount of lime which is going to be squeezed later is also going to be used and of course some amount of sugar and water. So let us get started and of course one essential thing that I didn't mention earlier on is the fish that we need for this uh, dish. Now to begin with um, let me get my fish ready for uh, marinade. So this is my fish, I have now cut it into smaller sizes and then let me begin uh, with the process of making the marinade for the fish and here I have fresh ginger which uh, I will now peel off a bit to remove the skin and then slice it. Okay, so here is my garlic, sorry, my fresh ginger, which I would like to slice into much thin slices.
so I am then going to add the celery but not actually the leaves you know I'm going to make use of the leaves um, much later but something very important that I want to extract from uh, this celery is actually the you know the fragrance you know um, we I would like to add it in here also in um, much thinner uh, pieces so that we get maximum out of the uh, fragrance and it is going to make the dish really unique because because it's going to smell really really awesome uh, you see I slice it much thin just as I did with the fresh ginger okay so with this done I will now go ahead and add um, some amount of water in it like this and then I will now go ahead and squeeze the whole thing inside of the water so that we extract all the juices contained therein as you can see now the um, color of the water is changing you know between the between yellow and green that is the combination of um, ginger color and also the chives of the spring onions and also the celery so at this point I would like to grate uh, some amount of turmeric fresh turmeric inside of the uh, mixture here so like this is okay and the next thing that I'm going to do is to bring um, some quantity of coriander, black pepper and white pepper which I am going to pound together in this small mortar not actually to pound it much but just to break the seeds slightly not too much and then I will go ahead and add it inside of the marinade and then uh, put my hand gloves and give it a squeeze again let me add a little amount of water okay so now this will now be added into the fish that I previously cut into smaller pieces
so what I'll do now is to actually mix um, everything together so that the fish will absorb um, will absorb you know the water that has all these um, juices you know this uh, amazing fragrance of a celery ginger black white pepper coriander and also chives of spring onions and then at this point i would like to squeeze a little amount of lime juice inside of the mixture okay and then give it another round of mix uh, mix so having done this i will now put this aside for some time so here is my oatmeal or oat flour whatever you actually prefer to call it um, now the first thing that I'm going to do here is to of course add yeast so as you can see that I've already added um, yeast some amount of salt and also sugar into the um, oat flour the next thing that I'm going to add here is of course egg two pieces of egg of eggs so after mixing this um, oat flour we will put it under sunlight so that it rises really really fast and hopefully within half an hour or less because I uh, made use of um, an instant yeast now our mixture of the oat is right there under the sunlight waiting for it to rise until then let us proceed uh, proceed with the uh, remaining processes right so um, right now I will add some water here and then we'll bring the cornstarch and add it to the bowl and then mix it probably I would use this whisk so that I can get it whisked much faster. So I will now add an egg in it and then also mix it together. Okay, so I'll now put this aside for later use and then as you can see the fish has been kept for quite long time because later I am going to fry it so I want to perform another trick here which is to remove the fish from inside of the marinade and then transfer it into this um, mini basket or strainer for the water to drain so that we get a much better result when you come to uh, the time of frying the fish
the next thing that I'm going to do here is to bring my soy sauce and we'll add some quantity of it into this uh, small glass bowl. And then we'll add um, some amount of uh, ginger, sorry, garlic powder in it, some dried ginger. So at this point I'm adding a sort of salt in here and then some amount of seasoning will also be added. We'll also whisk the whole thing. This I will keep aside for later use. I am also going to add some more soy sauce in here, some seasoning. some garlic powder, some ginger powder, and then mix them all together and then add some water in it. And then mix. And then put aside for later use, right? Now, the fresh garlic is of course going to be chopped into much 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 smaller pieces So with um, much of this stuff being made ready for our next action, let us go for a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, you are watching Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV and we are making oat masa, which is to be served with braised fish so let us proceed as you can see the mixture is looking absolutely well it's doing very very well and hopefully we get a much better result so before we proceed with the frying of the masa let us complete the processes of or the process of marinating the uh, marinating the um, fish so now um, as I did remove the fish um, and place it placed it um, on this mini basket to uh, for the water to drain now the next thing that I'm going to do is now you see this mixture of soy sauce is what I'm now going to pour in here and then I will go ahead and add small amount of sugar in it and then mix it a little more. So now the fish looking really good as if it's been cooked will be transferred into this bowl for our next action. So 
we'll get rid of all these things because the actually main thing that we needed is actually the flavor from all this stuff. So we don't need to add um, them together with the fish in here. Okay, here we are. And then I will go ahead and mix everything together. This needs, uh, needs to be mixed really, really well. The next thing that I'm going to do is to get the cornstarch that I earlier on mixed with egg. Get it ready. And then the fish will now be added in there. Okay, and then we mix it together. Now, what I'm going to do is to add my oil into this pot and then put it on fire. So I will allow now this um, oil to get really, really hot. So the right moment of testing our luck is here. And then we'll now go ahead and begin to add the, the fish inside of the oil. This is just so awesome. This is beyond my expectation. The result is just excellent. Wow. So you can see the fish is getting done absolutely well. See how absolutely beautiful it looks. See the fish, golden brown. This is just awesome. So right now we are going to go and do the final touch. You know, we are going to put the final uh, touch, you know, for the whole thing, for the braised fish. And at this point, I will go ahead and add some oil in this pan. And then put the garlic. And then add the spring onions. Not all of it. And then the pepper. 
green and red chili pepper as well as the green bell pepper so i will give it a little time to fry before proceeding to the uh, next uh, stage and of course i'm going to green, uh, grate a little amount of ginger inside of the thing okay so here we are so at this point i'll now go ahead and add the fish inside and then continue to fry them together and then add the mint and celery in here and also the unused um, chives so you can see everything is going really well And what I'm going to do last here is to actually add this small sauce that I made earlier on. And then we allow this to continue to cook for the next two to three minutes. And then we serve the dish. So here is the right moment of actually serving the dish as you can see one amazing thing i love about this dish is that you can see the fish you know um, it doesn't break you know it holds itself really tight because you know of the marinating process you know the marinade actually uh, holds it especially the cornstarch that was added so this is it looking so 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 beautiful and ah, i couldn't really hold it i really want to go ahead and give it a try this is something absolutely unbelievable and then here we go um, for the masa to be actually added by the side of the fish let's get this one here so here we are braised catfish with oat flour and the objective has been met so it is good to actually present this dish and learn all together so it is my hope that you will continue to watch Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV and also put your learning into practice. Until then, I'll say bye-bye for now.